Now our next email comes from a Maggie G in Lansing, and she gave us a great suggestion. I saw an episode a while back where you guys featured the Z-Wing Center in Mount Pleasant. It was fascinating, and it made me want to learn even more about Native American history. I had no idea what a beautiful and rich culture Michigan's first people had. There's a similar place up in St. Ignace called the Museum of Ojibwe Culture. A friend of mine went there last summer and said it was wonderful. So you might want to feature it on your show. Well, Maggie, ask and ye shall see it on UTR's You Wanted to See It. Yep, if you're genuinely interested in Michigan history, it's a good idea to go back, and I mean way back, to Michigan's original history. I'm of course talking about our fascinating Native American heritage. And one of the best places to experience it is at the Museum of Ojibwa Culture in St. Ignace. This magical museum will educate, entertain, and enlighten you to a proud people and culture that continues to this very day. Tom and Francis Wires are part of this museum's heart and soul, and they made sure I took it all in. I have to be honest, I've been so excited about coming back here, because as you know, we were here a couple summers ago with Dave Lorenz from Pure Michigan yep. and discovered this wonderful gem. Um, people must come here from around the world. Yeah, we were, we were just saying that um, we get people from all over the world that come here. We, we In the last four or five years since I've been here, uh, we've probably met people from China, France, uh, Japan, Scotland. Scotland. Uh, a lot of people from France come. Well, what you can experience and learn in this one small building, it's amazing the art and the artifacts and the history that you have in this. And explain to people, this is a, it was a church, but it's now a museum. What can people expect when they come here? A lot of history. Um, we, you know, even when I greet the customers, we, you know, like I said, talk about the building, but we explain a little bit about the history on the grounds and definitely Father Marquette. And um, what they experience in here is definitely you know, the beginning history of the Native Americans. And we have artifacts that were found on the grounds here. We have in our gift shop, handcrafted items by local people. We have Native American local artists. We make sure everything is handcrafted by Native Americans. Well, I want to mention before we get too far too that um, we fought a, a, a blizzard to get here today, but you guys aren't normally open in the winter. You open for us, thank you so yes, much. Yes, you're welcome. But what are, what's, your nor what's the normal time that people can come here? From May 15th till October 31st. May 15th to October 31st, yep. okay. And when you see the size of the building, you don't realize till you step in here the depth and the breadth and all yeah. the artifacts and the beautiful, the, the, I mean, the cost, I mean, oh, you know, these aren't costumes, these are, this the is regalia. Regalia. Yeah. 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 I mean, it, it's unbelievable what you have in here. Um, yeah. You should be very proud. We have a lot of uh, customers that come in and they're just, you know, very pleased. We have wonderful staff and educated. We always uh, read the comments because we have um, forms for the our guests to fill out comments and it's always they were which helps us improve yeah it's always nice because not every there was nothing people will negative. be honest they're a little more honest <laughs> when they can write something down instead of just coming to your face and they'll write things down and you look at that and you go you know what we should do that or we should do this you know? but I like it when people come in and they right away out of respect when they come through and they look and then they'll come back up front and they'll go is it okay if we take pictures absolutely you know because and we do we do uh we do like two festivals here every summer too so we do a native american festival then we do a heritage day festival and we do those in um in, um may and then we do one in august well you guys should be very proud because the experience in this little building the experience people can have when they come through here like i said i've already been here and i couldn't wait to get thank goodness somebody wrote in and said please go back so it gives us another chance to come that's back that's awesome so. yeah you have to wait yeah. a couple more years come back thank again because <laughs> there's a lot we change things every year we add something yeah. um, last summer we actually added three different things and kind of still working on those so that was a little too much It'd take a big step it's just the small steps but we're going in that direction where we're changing everything. We, do. we want to definitely have the outdoor, more outdoor exhibits again, so. Well, like I said, history, especially Native American history, is very important because you don't know where you're going. 
so you know where you've been. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Think about it. After our awesome and telling talk, I spent some fun and serious time touring the entire museum. And I have to say that my fascination and admiration and respect for Native Americans continues to grow. The art and artifacts you'll see here are priceless. What a creative, amazing, and resilient people. So trust me on this one. The Museum of Ojibwa Culture in St. Ignace is a great place to go and even take the whole family. And if you're a Low Plains Flatlander like me, you also get to cross the mighty Mackinac Bridge to get there. <laughs> Bonus! <laughs>